Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 28th through the 31st. Um, so guys, I would like to announce that my little sister has her own tarot channel, Temperance of Tarot. The link is in the description box below if you would like to check her out. She is a Sagittarius, just like you guys. Um, if you would like to show her some love and support, uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy. So let's get started, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have from my Sagittarius, please? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to my Sagittarians, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, love messages from May 28th through May 31st, please, Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry. It is a lot of fun, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Guys, I'm also giving away study Bibles. I just started giving them away, so I keep forgetting it's the NIV version large print study Bible. So when you leave comments, please be sure to manifest what you would like to win in the giveaway so I know what to choose you for, okay? Um, personal readings, I'm still taking um, emergency readings only. The link is in the description box below. You'll also find my new channel, uh, Divine Spirit Healing, in the description box below. Um, I just started a new series on there about how to find your spiritual joy while, while overcoming pain and suffering. Part one is already out, and I will be posting pretty soon um, a video on how to uh, manifest and also why we fall for people with... Um, people that are not emotionally available okay so if you'd like to check it out the link is below so sag let's get into your free shuffle message so somebody here oh just okay somebody basically just like you know like they were walking down the street and there was a diamond like a gold nugget on the floor and they just like walked past it thinking that it was a penny you know what i'm saying that's that's kind of like the image that i got in my head so i feel here that you know love was starting to bloom between you and somebody and somebody decided to just sabotage it and give up on it and turn their back on it okay but then after a careful thought and consideration someone here is like hmm maybe i should not have done that <laughs> somebody here is starting to realize the blessing that they had um and now they're turning you know turning the complete 180 and they're coming after you because they're realized they're realizing that you know um they're realizing your worth, okay? They're realizing your worth. They're realizing what they had on their hands or Sag, this could be you doing this. Um, but somebody gave out, up on a connection way too quickly, way too quickly, okay? Um, and now they're, they're regretting it. They're wanting to come back and reconcile. This person sees you as like, you know, wifey material, hubby material. They see, they, they put, they put you on a pedestal compared to other people. Okay. So here we have the 10 of wands. Yeah. Somebody here gave up way too quickly, way too quickly. Um, let's see here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Sagittarius, please? Community. Yeah. Somebody here thought maybe a third party would be better. Somebody here maybe thought that they didn't want to give up their single life, but they're realizing now what they had in their hands with that temple path. They're realizing that somebody here was maybe a blessing or heaven sent. You know, I don't know why they came to realize this. Maybe there was somebody that they were tempted by and they wanted to give up on this connection to try something new. And they realized that, you know, the grass is not greener on the other side, you know, possibly. We've got shadow. Um, that's kind of like the moon card. It's it's about your shadow self. It's about intuition. It's about uh, secrets. It's also about the unknown or an illusion. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here, guys. So we have pay attention to, to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, and religious factors. So for me, this could be a twin flame card, a spiritual connection. So I feel that, you know, this person missed the signs. They missed all the signs that they were being given a person 
that was heaven sent, that was a blessing, somebody that they prayed for, somebody that they manifested. And here we have it safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and flirt. Okay. So let's see what we have here, guys. So pay attention to the red flags. We've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Five of Pentacles, and the Justice card, Libra energy. So we have somebody here that should have committed to somebody. Instead, they abandoned ship. And with that Justice card, now they're paying the price for it, okay? Now they're paying the price for it because they're realizing what they lost, okay? With religious factors here, we've got the Empress, the Seven of Wands, and we have the Moon card again somebody here missed it it's like they just didn't see it they ended up throwing away a freaking diamond with the with the empress here you know cancer taurus uh libra aries energy so someone here just they didn't realize what they had they did not realize that they were holding on to like this massive diamond and they ended up just throwing it away not realizing it so here we have it safe for you to love so we've got tradition which is the hierophant taurus energy the ace of pentacles and we have the two of swords okay so this person was safe they were stable and they got cut out of the picture is what happened you know this person was offering stability they were offering loyalty um yeah but see now with flirt here okay now with flirt here this person with the two of cups and the world they may see this connection as over now Okay, they may see that they were unloved, they may see that they were unappreciated, and now their feelings have changed. Scorpionic energy here with the world card and the two of cups. Yeah, someone's feelings may have changed now because they're like, you know what? When you had me, you didn't care. I offered you so much. I was loyal to you. I was stable with you. I, you know, I was ready to, to offer you, uh, you know, a life and grow with you, and you just threw me away like I was nothing. You just cut me out like I was nothing. Yeah, see, someone just straight up walked away from this commitment. They did not appreciate it at all. They did not appreciate it at all. Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone here was being offered love and they walked away from it. With the Strength card here, Leo energy, I feel that, you know, someone here is really feeling like they should not have done that with that Justice card and that Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody here maybe, like I said, left to go to a third party. They started talking to somebody new and somebody is saying, now I should have held back. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm paying my karma. We've got the Empress card here. I mean, who are you going to find better than an Empress? The Five of Wands. So they put this Empress in a position of uh, strife, conflict, jealousy. Yeah, and, and uh, an Empress doesn't deal with that with the Temperance card here. An Empress doesn't deal with that. Empresses are peaceful. They've got too much grace. They're not trying to deal with that. So with the Seven of Wands, you know, and the Seven of Swords, this Empress just left. You know, you're going to lie. You're going to cheat. You're going to push me away. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This Empress just locked it up. She closed up her heart space. She realized, look, we've got the moon on top of the moon. Cancer, Piscean energy. She's realizing here that she got played, that it was all an illusion. So she goes back to being a Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress, Virgo energy. That's it. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this Empress isn't going to sit here and fight. This is an Empress, you know, this isn't the Jerry Springer show, you know. She's not going to sit here and, and deal with all that drama. She just locked it up and transformed herself back to the Nine of Pentacles. She's still abundant. She's still got it together. She's still, you know what I'm saying? She's still what anybody would want when it comes down to settling down. She still has her worth, so she doesn't care. Tell me about tradition here, please, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles. This person would have worked and 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 had a life. You know what I'm saying. This person would have worked on a life, on tradition, on. You know what I'm saying. It's like a real ride or die. Yeah. See, this person would have been very abundant. This person would have offered a lot. Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Wands. So now somebody is realizing. Now somebody is realizing they're worth wanting to come in, wanting to give an apology for you know not being balanced, for not giving as much as they were receiving. Okay. Uh, with the Page of Swords here, Aquarius. Gemini Libra energy they're seeing the truth now they're seeing somebody's value with the two of swords and the five of pentacles they're also seeing that they threw away a diamond okay what did I just say <laughs> they threw away a diamond they threw away an empress oh my gosh tell me about this two of cups please the tower the tower 
So I feel that, you know, somebody here just, you know, threw away a relationship and we've got the world on top of the world. So Gemini, this may be over, okay? This may be like over, over, no judgment. They want to come back for a second chance. This this empress might be truly done. You know, yeah, this empress might be truly done. This empress was betrayed. She was hurt. Yeah, see, this ex is, she's not forgetting the past. He's not forgetting the past, whatever. Tell me about transformation. The justice card. This is karma now. Justice, justice. This person's feelings have changed. Their feelings have changed. They were once they were once stable and committed and loyal. And now with the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, they're not, even if they love you, they're not going to show it. Yeah, the High Priestess. This person isn't about to talk to their feeling about their feelings. They're not going to open up emotionally. The Hanged Man. Yeah, Piscean energy. This person is just going to stall. This person's not going to, yeah, they have it stuck in their head what was done to them. Why would they trust, you know? Yeah, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So someone here just needed a lot of attention. Somebody here needed to have their ego boosted. This person isn't going to like, you know, this is an empress. So we have here stuck energy, okay? And with angels of the four directions, this is your angels, okay? This is your archangels coming in to get you unstuck from this cycle that you've been in in life where you're not appreciative of the people that you you have around you. Sag, now if it's not you did, that did this, um, this is a lesson that is learned by the person that did this to you, that they need to be more appreciative of the blessings that they have. See, this person here is realizing, wow, I should have committed. Now I just destroyed this connection. This person that was truly committed, they were shattered. They were shattered when this happened. And with the temple path, I mean, this was a diamond. This was a blessing from God and somebody just threw it away. Here we have sacrifice, the hanged man, uh, Piscean energy, and the eight of wands. So somebody here just left somebody hanging and now they want to come in and communicate six of wands and the fool but i feel that this person has too much pride and they just want to move on the, the, uh, uh, the empress is just too prideful she knows her worth she's not going to be treated like that she is not going to be treated like that with the fool card and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy i feel like emotionally she's disconnected she's going to move on to something more stable king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy she's moving on to stability getting by the time by the time you go find this person they're going to be married to someone else with the six of wands yeah yeah and the five of cups you're going to really regret it because you had you had a diamond on your hands with that six of wands you know a diamond there you go you had a star on your hands and you let it go so that you could juggle Hi. well you know Sag, if you didn't do this it was done to you but someone here is really coming to the realization that they lost something that was worth a lot that they lost something that was worth a lot okay i love you guys take care bye